<laughs> hey guys today i'm going to be talking about something that is you know very important but um it's so funny so i'm going to talk about something that uh can uh cause you know something that causes so much stress to many international students especially those who are you know um coming from developing countries let me tell you in developing countries students don't have a chance to do part-time job you know and in most cases they rely on their guardians you know so if they go to developed countries and i mean if they have a scholarship and you know if they happen to get um a part-time job what happens they start saving money and one thing that stresses people a lot is starting to convert the currency <laughs> into their home country's currencies oh my goodness whatever they buy they have to convert they have to think so much if they're going to buy you know uh, let me give you an example expensive uh, vegetables like broccoli broccoli is expensive everywhere because it's nutritious they have to convert how much is this if i convert it into my you know into my uh into my currency if it's too much no i'm not buying it i have to buy something cheaper when i went to japan i used the two convert i used to convert almost everything man that affects your mental health so so much i remember i saved so much money in the first three months but guess what i was getting skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and i didn't understand what was happening the thing is that i wasn't taking care of myself because i was trying to save so much money seriously whenever i saw a vegetable that was over 100 yen i could convert so i was like oh no i'm spending so much money on this thing no way no way but it, <laughs> i mean that's how things are sold in those countries so <laughs> me converting you know everything you know or converting the money for everything i purchased was was so silly you know because i had to get used you know i had to get used to um <laughs> to the prices in, in those countries i mean i mean in japan it was so crazy but you know after meeting various students you know seeing various you know some african students you know are uh, converting you know the prices okay from this to this or oh, this is very expensive no i won't buy it i noticed that actually that affects their mental health yeah it affects one's health because you can't even buy what you want to eat you know you can't even buy things that are healthy because you're trying to convert every single thing, you know, into your currency. Oh my goodness, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, you know, don't do that. Try to, you know, enjoy life, yeah, enjoy life. And, you know, don't overthink about money, don't, you know. It's unavoidable. To be honest with you, it's something that's unavoidable, but I'm sure you can control this you can't control this i used to find so many guys you know in supermarkets you know trying to convert uh, how much is this and i was like what are you doing i'm trying to check the price it's like ah uh? even if you check the price even if you don't you still have to buy it because you need it for your brain your brain function you need high quality foods you know you need those foods so even if you convert or not you still need them because you are, you know, you are, um, you are abroad, you don't have like, you know, maybe uh, your family there. Well, some students do, but uh, most of us don't. So if you don't have people to take care of you, it's only you take care of yourself. So if you start converting, <laughs> if you start converting money for each and everything you purchase, my dear, you're going to end up in a total depression because... You're going to lose something, to be honest. If you don't take care of yourself, if you fail to buy things that are healthy, because good things are expensive, we all know that. So if you fail to buy, to buy those things just because you want to save money, hey, there is no dead person who saves money. Take care of yourself and, you know, eat healthy and, you know, adapt. Yeah, adapt. You can convert, 
yes, you can convert because some people it's unavoidable, but don't convert everything. Don't convert everything because this is going to affect you. Let me just give you an example. Just in case, you know, you accidentally buy something, you know, because you're used to converting, right? Everything you buy, you convert. Everything you buy, you convert the currency. So if you buy something after, you know, after arriving home, you, you, you get your phone and calculate how much uh, it is, you know, uh, you know, in your home currency. And you find that it's way too much money. That's going to shock you. And you're going to be like, ah, why did I buy it? I would have saved about, you know, uh, 50,000 Ugandan shillings. Oh, I would have saved this much money. Ah, come on. Life is too short. <laughs> Life is too short. To be honest with you, this thing stresses so many people. But why would you stress? over such a tiny thing. No, use st your stipend well and you know, just enjoy your money. Of course, you need to save some money, but not to that extent of converting every single thing. <laughs> yeah, that is something I want to talk about. And if you're going to uh, go study abroad in the future, please, please consider your mental health to be extremely, extremely important all those tiny things that can affect your mental health come on just leave them and focus on your education focus on your education focus on you know acquiring as many skills as you can because for your um next steps if you're going to be uh, maybe going to go in education or other things they'll ask you about you know the skills you have so focus on acquire, acquiring those skills instead of, you know, um, converting every currency. <laughs> For whatever thing you buy. It's so funny, but this, I'm telling you, to be honest with you, 99% of international students who are coming from developing countries do this thing. And trust me, it's not healthy. It's not good and it's not healthy to be honest with you for some things of course you know you can be like oh, i can get that i can get that when i go back to my country i can get that when i go back you know at, when i go to this country for an internship yeah yeah but for some things especially foods come on don't convert any currency for foods don't don't you need to eat you need to eat and you need to eat health foods you know that can keep you when you're not sick if you go for cheap foods i'm telling you this is going to affect how you function and remember that you are abroad your health is so expensive when you're abroad because you don't you understand the system but things are you know are more expensive there compared to your home country so take care of yourself and uh, avoid stress you know um i mean in any way possible so that's what i wanted to talk about today i just remembered it and i was like ann you have to mention this yeah because this is the time when so many students are traveling you know abroad for their studies so please settle in well <laughs> don't convert everything take your mental health to be very very important i love you <laughs>